Good evening, everybody. We pray that you're having a wonderful night. We want to welcome you to the Healing Hearts Health Sanctuary Kitchen. And today we'll be making a tofu egg scramble and Lindsay will be making a carob mousse later on. And before we start, let's just start off with a word of prayer. Our dear, kind and loving Father, we just thank you so much for this opportunity uh, to be able to showcase, Lord, uh, your plant-based diet. And we just pray that you'd be with the viewers that are watching. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's get started with the tofu egg scramble. So we need to turn on our pans. And this has already been heating up. And I've just got a tablespoon, roughly tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and then we've got a your tofu here this is about 390 grams so you can get this at your local pack and save this is the one that I've got from pack and save um, but countdown do them as well new world and this is an extra um, sorry a firm tofu and so what you want to do first is grab a bowl and then you put it in there and then we want you to crumble it up you can use your hands or you could use a um, spoon so just crumble it up if you can and then you can put half a teaspoon of ground turmeric this is really really good it's full of anti-inflammatories for those that have got sore joints so we need half a teaspoon here and usually for me I taste it uh, when it's cooking and then I I tend to add a bit more because that's I just like the taste of turmeric and then as well as add some salt so this is Himalayan salt so you can season as you go so just mix that up hopefully you can see it there so you, what we want is somewhere in the color of egg so you can start to see it's getting yellow so usually it's a lot easier in the pan when it gets all crumbled and like egg texture so that should be fine for now and then we want you to chop an onion and I've got three cloves of garlic here because I like my garlic and then you can also use if you're you know running out of time you can use onion powder um, about a teaspoon or if you're not too strong on the onion flavors so half a teaspoon of onion powder and half a teaspoon of garlic powder if you're really pressed on time. But you know, fresh is always best. So we can see that the, the oil is all heated up now. And so just pop that straight in. We can hear that sizzle. So we just want that to saute a little bit. Sometimes what I do is um, really press for time as well. I don't even use oil because I've got a non-stick pan in here as well. But if you do use oil, it gets it nice and caramelized. So just heat that, saute that up for a few minutes until the onion is nice and translucent. And you can start to smell the, the garlicky flavors, and especially those that really love their garlic because it's really good for your immune system and as well as your onions alrighty so you can see here this tofu egg scramble just that's coming on the side here it's a really good uh, plant based alternative uh, for those that have high blood pressure or diabetes because tofu which is a key ingredient for today 
um, is full of protein. It's actually a complete protein. And it's got a lot of uh, anti-inflammatories because it's got omega-3 um, essential fatty acids in there, which is really good for reducing blood clots as well, preventing blood clots. And so now we're just going to put in the tofu. You can start to see it actually looks so close to eggs. And this is how quick the dish is. Turn that down a bit. So if you do, when you do make it, if it starts to get a little bit dry, you can add a little bit of soy milk um, to just keep it a little bit more wet. You know, for those that really like a... Uh, not a soggy egg, but you know, just not dry egg like. But hopefully, you can see this on the camera and you can see how much it's starting to just come up really nicely. And you, that was just really quick, not even looking at the time, less than five minutes. Obviously, we've prepared some of the ingredients beforehand. But really simple dish and then you can serve this up with what I do is um, serve it up with some toast I usually have avocado some uh, toast as well spinach some tomatoes you know just like what we get for a, a kiwi breakfast um, a plant-based kiwi breakfast and can you believe it or not like in the cafes they charge you at least $15 for this so you're saving a whole lot of money and you know it's really really good for you as well and make you you've made in the comfort of your own home so let me just give it a taste because i'll be eating this in the morning and lindsay's going to be also eating this in the morning and uh, we want to make sure it's nice and tasty so you just season it as you prefer or add a bit more turmeric or a bit more salt Yeah, it just needs a bit more salt and then we'll be done there. Alright, now I can turn that off. There. So let's just put this on a serving plate. Oh, and apologies. I didn't show you the, so this is the brand that I have and you can use it, um, like I said, get it from Pack and Save. They also do a Tonzu um, brand as well in Pack and Save um, and make sure you get the non-GMO uh, tofu, the non-GMO tofu. And so let's just put this on a serving platter. And then you can just, you know, put a bit of garnishing on top. You can even add some um, sprouts or microgreens for extra nutrients and benefits. And I've just got some parsley here. And there you go, that's your egg tofu scramble, nice and easy. Hopefully you can see that there. All ready for your breakfast tomorrow. And now we'll hand it over to Lindsay and she's going to be making the carob mousse. Okay, so what we're going to need for our ingredients for this delicious carob mousse is, again, our main ingredient is the silken tofu this time this is a really soft silky tofu and it's GMO it's gluten free and it's also no preservatives in it so it covers most people's um, requirements really good price I get mine from pack and save um, around about three dollars seventy so um, 
that's the one that I'm using tonight. All right. So in a food processor, I'm going to pop in my block of tofu. And I'll just give it a little bit of a chop up so it's evenly placed in the food processor. You're not then just working it harder to get it all mixed in. And we're now going to put in um, a quarter of a cup of carob powder. So I'm just going to put that here, measure that out. More. And just sprinkle that round and on top of the tofu. Right. The next ingredient is maple syrup and always use the pure maple syrup, the Canadian syrup. So we're going to use a quarter of a cup. So, just popping it in. A teaspoon of natural vanilla essence. Okay, so again, trying to go for the most pure ingredient that um, is available. And a little squidfin of salt. Always good to have a little bit of salt in there just to balance up the sweetness. Um, and I'm now going to just pop in the microwave. This is um, coconut oil. And uh, I use the uh, Virgin Coconut Certified Organic. Really good purchase again in the supermarkets. Um, so I'll just pop over here. I'll be just 10 seconds. Just going to let that melt and then uh, we'll pop that in. Okay. So in there and lid on and we'll fire it away Okay, now with something like anything that you're doing liquid in your food processor, you've always got to go back in and just use your spatula and scrape down the sides, um, just so you make sure that you're getting everything all mixed up thoroughly. But this is looking really good. Just a few little lumps in there, but I think it'll be done very quickly. Yeah, I think this is done. Oh, wonderful. Now what I just want to let you know, um, we are doing a tofu um, theme tonight, but if you don't have tofu and you still want to make a mousse, um, you can use avocado. Um, and that's usually I put two avocados in uh, with the same um, quantities of the ingredients. Um, or you can mix with your tofu um, a banana. Uh, so, you know, um, or 
just put in the banana. But um, tonight it's tofu. So what I'm going to do now is put it into some lovely dessert parfait dishes and uh, then I'll show you what um, the topping is. Pour that in there. Oh, that looks yummy and the smell is delish. Can't get any easier than this. Make this most yummy, delicious dessert. Look at that, all lovely and silky. So, now normally um, what you do is you pop this in the fridge and just let it set. Uh, usually about an hour and it'll be ready for serving. So um, what I'm going to show you for the topping is in here I've got some coconut um, and some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds and I have just dry panned those uh, no oil just dry pan them. One thing you do have to be careful is don't ever leave your pan when you're doing this because it can burn so quickly. I've had that happen and uh, yeah, it's pretty um, disastrous when you've got to start all over again. So just make sure you stand over this and just slowly, slowly wait till the coconut browns and then you're ready to go. All right, and uh, so just sprinkle a few of those on the top. Um, I won't do this now, but oh, maybe I will. Yeah, I will. Just so you can see the effect. And then on the top, just going to pop in some frozen blueberries. You can use any sort of berry that you prefer, but you can't go past blueberries as being the top berry for um, health uh, yeah blueberry is a wonderful berry for us um what shall i say retired people uh really helps with your memory um and so i've always got them in the freezer and you know i have them a lot <laughs> so whoops there you go. There's your carob mousse with the tofu cake. And I'm just going to hand it over now to our taster and see what she thinks. Just a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun, everybody. Well, thank you so much for coming in tonight. We're really grateful. This is something that um, Sister Thea and I have been planning for two years. God put this on our hearts to open up Healing Hearts Health Sanctuary. And um, we believe that um, the time is right now is to launch these recipes for you. We will be looking at doing a recipe for you live about um, once a month. Uh, but we'll keep you posted on that. Now we'd love your feedback now. We've opened it up now. If any of you would like to type in any questions or ask us, then please do. We'll, we'll love to um, help you out. If there's anything we don't know the answer to, we will go and find out for you. Do the research and we'll come back. All right, so let's open it up now and uh, see what, um, what's on your mind. And thanks again for watching. God bless. Yeah, and if anyone have any uh, pressing um, recipes or topics or themes that we want mm. to, you want us to do, would love to showcase that. 
um, you know, we're definitely planning on more cooking demonstrations. Like Sister Lindsay said, you know, this yeah, has been on our hearts for a long time to do, and now we've, you know, we've done it, and we just give God all the glory. Yeah. You know, just we thank uh, Vish behind the scenes. You can't mm. see him now, but yeah, just he's working behind the scenes there. <laughs> you wanna say hi here? Um, so if anyone has any questions, there, there is one question. It says, um, could we have the mousse for breakfast? <laughs> Definitely. It's very healthy, so you can. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm wondering if you're wanting us to ship it through for breakfast. Is that what you're meaning? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, love the, to. The recipes are so versatile. You know, you can have them during the day, anytime. Yeah. Say so the the um, tofu egg scramble. You can have it for breakfast, breakfast, lunch, or dinner as well. Just not dessert, obviously. <laughs> anyway, sister, you want to hold yours up now? And we'll just um, yeah. Just show you again the results. Come and stand it's here beside me, and we'll just um, oh, yeah, there's a bit of so just a bit of liquid here. I think let me that's just... all right, this still doesn't leave. You can see this one, so you can see there's a bit of liquid there, so maybe just cook it a lot longer just to or put it on a high heat, just drain that liquid. But that's pretty much it. That's your tofu egg scramble and your carob mousse. But the theme tonight is yeah. tofu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we have a closing prayer? Let's do that then. Yeah. Dear Heavenly, most gracious, loving, merciful Father, we thank you, Father God, once again, Father God, for giving us, Lord, your plant-based food. Father, there's nothing like it. And God, we know that you've set our bodies as the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we want to, Father God, honour you with our plant-based recipe. So we just ask, Lord, that you'll continue, Father God, to bless others as we present these recipes for them. And that um, may your kingdom be coming uh, as everyone comes on board and starts to enjoy what you've given us, Lord. We give you all the praise, praise and glory, Father God. And we thank you for every person and every um, person out there that's online, that's watching, Lord, that um, you will speak to their hearts, Lord, about um, health and uh, how you want us all, Father God, to be obeying you with such love that you give us, Lord. All these things we now say in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, everybody. We thank you so much for joining us. And if you're not already on uh, our Facebook group, um, please join the 10-day challenge. Um, and, and we will post the video uh, of this recording there as well. And the recipes for those that are wanting. But anyway, have a good night, everybody. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm.